the sole survivor from the first film, returns to LV-426 with a company of Marines to investigate why the colony there has gone quiet. She encounters once again the Xenomorph from the first film, and this time it has reinforcements. So, today, right now, I want to talk about um, 1986 movie Aliens. Uh, the sequel to the movie Alien from 1979. Uh, this one's directed by James Cameron. Um, and it stars Sigourney Weaver, Michael Biehn, Carrie Henn, Bill Paxton, Paul Reiser. Um, this is sort of interesting. I saw it in the theater when it first came out and really enjoyed it. Um, I was highly anticipating the sequel because Alien's my favorite movie of all time. Uh, and I had a lot of hopes for this one. And for the most part, I was not disappointed. Um, sort of in retrospect, there's a few things that I kind of wish were done differently. Uh, and James Cameron has admitted that this movie is intended to be a metaphor for Vietnam, for the Vietnam War. And if you know anything about that period of history, uh, you can see all that when you watch the movie. As a matter of fact, if you really have the attention span and the energy for it, which I don't very often these days, um, an interesting double feature would be Apocalypse Now and this movie. Um, sort of give you a perspective on the Vietnam War, of what was behind all that. Um, and this one, this particular one, um, there's a bunch of Marines that are sent into a situation. They're cocky. Uh, they're pretty sure they can handle it. They really haven't bothered to do a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, training or a lot of research into what it is they're going to be facing because they're just so confident that they can handle it, that they have the superior firepower uh, and all that. And it turns out it comes back to bite them. And of course, a lot of it is at the behest of a giant, of a giant wealthy corporation, or at least for certain individuals that work inside the corporation who are hoping to exploit the situation to make money. Uh, sounds kind of like Vietnam to me. Uh, and they won't, and of course they screw everything up because their interests and the interests of the, of the military may not always coincide. And in that case, the interest of the corporation tends to take precedence. Anyway, very interesting, fun, fun movie, not boring. You will not uh, be sitting there waiting for something to happen. Uh, and I recommend, I know this will be kind of controversial, but I recommend a theatrical release over um, James Cameron's director's cut. Uh, you can watch the director's cut. I would watch it after watching the theatrical release if you can. Um, to me, the, theat the director's cut is too long. And there's a lot of stuff in there that's just, it's repetitious, unnecessary. Um, and it also sort of, it diminishes the effectiveness of some of the scenes, um, especially when they first arrive at this colony on LV-426 that's suddenly mysteriously gone quiet. Uh, it's also set 57 years after the first movie. Uh, that that gives it some, some room there for a lot of things to happen on that world since uh, Ripley had been there before. Anyway... It's, it's an interesting, action-packed movie. Uh, take a look at it. Let me know what you think.